Number 10, Zac Efron in Baywatch. Acknowledging his appearance changed in recent years, Efron explained that his looks changed after he fell over at his home and he broke his jaw in November of 2013, making his face and jaw muscles have to work extra hard. According to Zac, he was seeing a physical therapist to help him recover from this, but he briefly stopped while he was in Australia, where he taped two seasons of his Netflix series, Down to Earth. It wasn't until 2017's Baywatch that fans really noticed the physical changes that Zac was going through. He was already a very muscular man. He claims to have starved and dehydrated himself for the shoot to appear more toned up. And on top of that, this was around the same time that his jaw started to reset itself, being noticeably stiff throughout the feature. His jaw is now more pronounced and it gives him like a more square but muscular face, almost appearing swollen sometimes. The look was only a third of the reason that fans hated this movie. It was also because of the terrible script and performances from its cast. Seriously, Dwayne Johnson, come on. Number 9, Sylvester Stallone in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Now, Sylvester Stallone's face is distracting in general. Ever since Rocky, this dude has looked like he's slowly been melting for 20 years, until suddenly a new face emerged. The fun thing with Sylvester is depending on what movie you've seen between 2010 and now, depends on what you may have gotten in terms of face altogether. Around The Expendables, fans started to notice some subtle changes in his face. The cheeks were a little bit more prominent, he seemed to have more pronounced jaw, but the closer to the final Rambo movie we got, the more that he began to resemble his Rocky days. But most recently in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, it seems that someone took a drywall scraper and just like slowly flattened his face. His eyebrows also look more pronounced, almost like they're the Nike swoosh. And while the overall film is not a flop, the scenes with Sylvester in them were universally agreed to be unnecessary and distracting to the overall project. Number 8, Mickey Rourke in Wild Orchid. Back in his early days in Hollywood, Rourke was known as one of the prettiest boys in town. He was often compared to the likes of Marlon Brand and James Dean. However, that reputation did not last long. Throughout the 1980s, the diner actor would always talk about his issues with fame and how he hated the industry. So, throughout the early 90s, Mickey slowly started getting into the world of professional boxing as an escape. This was the main cause for so much of his misshapen face. According to Mickey himself, he had slowly been dismantled by the sport, breaking his nose twice, snapping his cheekbone, and damaging his ribs and toes. Needless to say, a professional doctor advised him to hang up the gloves before it did too much damage. But unfortunately, that damage was already done. In his 1990 film, Wild Orchid, the actor's cheeks were visibly swollen and he just looked so different. Later in 2009, he admitted that these changes were indeed due to botched plastic surgery as a lot of people speculated. Whether it was the bad acting or the bad surgery, the movie tanked at the box office and it currently sits at a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Since then, Mickey has gone under again for corrective surgery, but he still looks like a clay model of his former self. Number 7, Nicole Kidman in Bewitched. Nicole has been around for a while in the world of Hollywood, starring in everything from superhero movies like Batman Forever to the film on this list, 2005's Bewitched. The film was based around a TV series of the same name and featured Kidman as the lead and Will Ferrell as her co-star. The film was okay, it's fun for some, but for critics, it was a rough ride. One thing many fans noticed right away was that her cheeks looked suspiciously round. Like throughout the movie, the audience was left wondering what was happening to Nicole's face. Over the years, it has been speculated that she's gotten some kind of work done, but it was never actually confirmed. But just taking one look at a side-by-side -side proves that something has been done. Her cheeks look fuller, her face seems lifted, and there's a, lot, there's a lot going on upstairs. This film was just the first of many to leave fans pondering what Nicole had been doing, and it did not stop there. The closer to 2020 we got, the more she appeared to have done, becoming nearly unrecognizable in her role in Bombshell. Number 6, John Travolta in Wild Hogs. John Travolta is a renowned actor who has been around for decades and has probably starred in at least one of your top 10 movies. However, the iconic Pulp Fiction actor surprised fans with what looks like the aftermath of botchy plastic surgery in 2007's Wild Hogs. Fans were convinced that John had some work done in his face and it had gone horribly wrong. Comparing his face to the Grease Lightning star that we all know and loved, there are just noticeable differences under his eyes and around his jaw. He now had more of a square face with unnatural naturally straight bone structure that he most certainly did not have when he met Sandy. Of course, getting Botox, fillers, or even plastic surgery as a quick fix to hide the inevitable signs of aging is not that big of a deal in Hollywood, but Mr. Travolta might have just stepped into the wrong surgeon's office. 
as fans were shocked and critical about his new look. The film overall was just a little bit strange, but it had a nice premise. It featured some pretty stellar comedic actors like Tim Allen and Martin Lawrence and Ray Liotta. They played a wannabe crew of bikers who get more than they bargain for when they run into actual gang members. It sounds fun, but the entire film is derailed by the distracting face of John Travolta. Seriously, this dude went from grease lightning to being struck by lightning. Number 5. Helen Hunt and I See You From Mad About You and What Women Want to Twister, there is no denying that Helen Hunt has been a tour de force on screens big and small for decades. In fact, she got her start as a child actor in the 70s. A lifetime in the spotlight means fans will always be curious about every aspect of your life. Considering the pressure to remain youthful in Hollywood, many fans wondered if Helen Hunt ever decided to get plastic surgery. Well, 2019 was a big year for Helen. She had several movies coming out and had just directed an episode of The Politician. However, the main draw of that year was her role in the horror movie I See You, with many fans claiming that the film was unwatchable simply due to her facelift. It seemed like someone was trying to CGI out all the age on her face, but it ended up looking just strange, weird. The negative online comments caused many fans to skip this one and wait for the home release. Ah, who am I kidding? They torrented it. Number four. Tara Reid in American Pie Reunion Tara has starred in several comedy flicks over the years, but they tend to stick to the same category, schlocky and cheap, which are still fun. Being a part of movies like Van Wilder, Sharknado, and of course the American Pie series. While she seemed to be on the rise, rumors of a serious attitude on set were slowly bringing her less and less roles, and a wardrobe malfunction at a party for P. Diddy in 2004, in which one part of her chest was visible for all the world to see, well, that didn't help either. She had clearly gotten some work done, which was obvious thanks to a certain body part being in the shape of a square and not a circle like it should be. She had also received many physical alterations to her face and stomach, with the latter being botched so horribly to the point where Tara had a hernia that prevented her from being able to work without a shirt on, which was apparently a big part of her career. When the gang got back together for the reunion, fans were curious to see where the film would take the crew and if it may be the first of many more American Pie movies. Unfortunately, the script combined with the distracting physical changes to one of its main cast members caused fans to peg this flick as a must forget. Number 3. Jeremy Piven in Smoke and Aces The Entourage star has not always been some cool guy in a suit. He's been a wide range of characters, from a bald store clerk to a villain in Spy Kids 4. This man is versatile and so is his hair. In one of Jeremy's first acting gigs in Singles from 1992, he's very obviously missing the top of his head. His hair is slowly thinning, but is very clearly on its way out. Okay, so cut to the first season of Entourage, where his hair suddenly began to grow back. And by the time the 2006 movie Smoke and Aces came along, Jeremy had long hair. He looked like he was in a boy band that partied just a little bit too hard. This was a very distracting moment in the world of Hollywood and is a part of the reason that this movie tanked. It could be that or it could be the terrible performances given by Piven, especially when you compare it to his co-stars like Ryan Reynolds and Ben Affleck, but eh, who knows. It seems that the closer to 2020 we got, the more hair this dude had. He claims to have received hair transplant surgery, which was difficult to hide as he was bald one day and Elvis Presley the next. Number 2. Portia de Rosie, Arrested Development While this may not be a film entry, how about the fact that she messed up a whole season of television just with her face? In fact, it had changed so much that her character was slowly written out of the series. The popular series returned after 7 years of rest, releasing an entire season, 15 episodes worth, all at once on Netflix. Now this is how the running joke heavy sitcom was really meant to be watched, all in one sitting, over and over again, at the viewer's own leisure. But it seemed that all the Twitter sphere could talk about was actress Portia de Rosie's face. De Rosie, who plays the vapid, self-centered, clueless Lindsay Bluth Fuque, in the series had apparently gotten some work done as a side-by-side -side of season 1 to season 4 shows vastly different faces. Several plastic surgeons gave their take on the possible changes and agreed that it was very obvious that she had had some work done. They report that she received a nasal tip reconstruction and Botox injections. Yeah, you don't need to be a plastic surgeon to see that one. Unfortunately for the show, that fourth season was not well received, and one of the many issues the fans seemed to have was the little to no explanation on why Lindsay looked like that. 
And at number 1, Kim Bassinger in The Burning Plane. Kim was a rising star in the 1980s, being featured in rom-coms, action movies, dramatic pieces, each one just a little bit better than it would have been without her. Towards the end of the 1990s, she was still maintaining a steady career, but as we entered the new millennium, many were noticing several changes to her face. By the time The Burning Plane came out, it was obvious what was going on. Her cheeks were noticeably larger, leaving her with deep ridges. Her face was also suspiciously wrinkle-free, which made Made the changes even more obvious. Between the Botox, the facelift, and who knows what else, her role in the film was bogged down by the unrecognizable face of Miss Kim Bassinger. Despite boasting a great cast with Jennifer Lawrence and Charlize Theron, the film tanked and no one could take it seriously. Number 10, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is one of many people from the Kardashian crew that I could have chosen for this list, but unlike some of her sisters, Khloe has opened up to fans about her cosmetic surgery journey, revealing her only regret about having a nose job. For years, Keeping Up with Kardashian's fans had questioned whether Khloe had any work done on her nose or any other part of her body, really. During the show's reunion special last year, she confirmed that she had the surgery. She had apparently been hesitant to share the the information with fans as she claimed that the world is just a bit too easy to set off and that people would more than likely bombard her with backlash. Which is exactly what happened. After revealing the truth, she was blasted with questions left and right. Why? What? When? Where? Huh? According to Chloe, the main reason she wanted to try something different was because she was tired of being compared to her siblings all the time. The Kardashian clan is large and filled with basically one of every kind of crazy, but Chloe has maintained that she regrets trying to alter herself just to be a little bit more different than her sisters. Number 9. Cardi B. Cardi B has never been coy about the plastic surgery procedures that she's had done. During an Instagram Live video in December 2022, she talked about a procedure that she had done to her bum bum years ago and gave her followers a word of advice while doing so. Following the birth of her son, Wave, that's a great name, in September in 2021, people said that they thought she had work done, when in reality, she had gotten surgery in August to have 95% of her bipolymer bum bum injection removed. She went on to tell people that they should do research and listen to their doctors, not just when it comes to bum bum injections, but also Brazilian bum lifts. Seriously, why can't I say but? And all the other plastic and cosmetic surgeries. In 2019, the rapper got candid about having to cancel and postpone shows because she needed time off to recover from a liposuction. On Twitter, she talks about having to miss work for two weeks because of that. And in that same year, Cardi also told Entertainment Tonight that she had a chest lift after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, and was unhappy with needing to take the time off. So Cardi's biggest problem is not with the procedures themselves, but the recovery time it seems to take. Well, fear no more with InstaLift. Now I'm just kidding, that's not real, but oh man, I've got a good pitch for Shark Tank. Number eight, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen has no issue when it comes to being open about what plastic surgery procedures she has done. The 35-year-old model recently took to her Instagram story to show off the results of the cosmetic surgery procedure that she revealed she underwent, buccal fat removal. The goal of buccal fat removal is to thin the cheeks and specifically in the area of the cheek hollows, and I'm not talking about face cheeks. While she claims that the removal was a success and that she could see the results, the aftermath of the situation left her on the other side of the argument. She was candid about this procedure. Many were still questioning how she got her face cheeks to look so perfect though. Speculation started running wild of people claiming to know for a fact that she had fillers. In fact, an entire YouTube channel was dedicated to proving that this woman was made of silicone. She addressed the rumors online and claimed that she did in fact receive the aforementioned bum bum solution, but she denied that the claims that she received any kind of cheek fillers. Instead, she made it known that she was not an advocate for body morphing, claiming that the only time that this should ever be done is for medical purposes. Number 7. Jamie Lee Curtis Jamie has been a staple in the world of Hollywood ever since starring in the iconic 1978 horror flick Halloween. She slowly made herself a force to be reckoned with, making her way through several iconic shows and films before landing an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in last year's Everything Everywhere All at Once. Jamie has been very open about her life when asked in interviews. She is an open book ready to be read by any and all that are interested. When the topic of plastic surgery comes up, Jamie is very loud 
loud with her opinion, claiming people should not F with their faces. In 1985, Jamie underwent a handful of procedures to increase her beauty. She got Botox and liposuction, which she admitted made her feel terrible. She also recounted trying to change her hairstyle all the time, but the reinvention of Jamie Lee just never took place. Now in her 60s, Jamie is still stunning and it's got nothing to do with surgery. Just a long life of running away from mass maniacs. Number six, Kim Kardashian. The reality star can be tight-lipped about the cosmetic procedures that she has undergone and has repeatedly denied getting plastic surgery, but on a forthcoming episode of The Kardashians, she seems to make a surprising confession. In a peek at season three shared by her sister Chloe on Snapchat, Kim is seen taking voice lessons. While talking to her vocal coach, the Skims founder admitted that she couldn't use her neck muscles to sing because half of hers were probably Botoxed. Kim admitted to having a little bit of Botox in a 2022 Allure interview, but claims that she's had no filler, adding that she will never fill her cheeks and she's never filled her lips and all this jazz. While this may be true, back in 2010, Kardashian suffered facial bruises after getting Botox before she turned 30, an experience that was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim claims that the surgeon warned her of all the possible side effects, you know, like they're supposed to do, but because it was the first time receiving the procedure, she flipped out in front of the cameras. Since then, Kim has steered clear of any more Botox-related procedures, claiming that she felt a constant burning sensation for days afterwards, being some of the most painful moments of her life. Number five, Courtney Cox. The Friends star was speaking with the UK Sunday Times style magazine ahead of the launch of her new comedy horror TV show, Shining Veil, vale, in which she plays a depressed novelist who moves from New York City to rural Connecticut with her family. Cox herself is facing up to the fact that she is not far off from 60. She admitted that she initially tried to fight aging with all kinds of cosmetic trends, but eventually realized that she had gone crazy and is now trying to age gracefully. Despite her global superstar status, Cox said her confidence confidence was dented a few years ago after shooting a pilot for a series that was never produced. Thankfully, the treatment she received could be removed. Her face filler slowly dissolved, and it would appear that she has decided to steer clear of any more cosmetic situations, proven by her role in the new Scream series where she really does, does not look all that different from her friends' days. Number four, Sharon Osbourne. The talk host, who is 70, admitted that she came to the decision to quit with the surgeries after an October 2021 facelift left her with one eye lower than the other one. TV personality and wife to the Prince of Darkness, Sharon previously spoke about regretting the horrendous facelift with the Sunday Times. She said she had a full facelift that October that left her looking like a mummy in an enormous amount of pain. Not only did the procedure leave her with one droopy eye, but she added that the five and a half hour operation was not worth the time or the price tag. In fact, she kept calling herself a cyclops because they did such a bad job. At least she was able to laugh about the situation. Since her last box job, Sharon has decided to steer clear of the whole surgical route for now and instead is going with the au natural look. Number three, Tara Reid. Tara was initially a rising star in the world of Hollywood, being featured in several franchises over the years. But as time went on, her career slowed down and she was offered less and less roles. This was thanks to the reality series called Tara Dice, which showcased her pension for the party lifestyle. A wardrobe malfunction at a party for P. Diddy in 2004, in which one part of her chest was visible for all the world to see, did not help the situation. Shots of her deformed chest quickly circulated on the internet and and Reed says that she was devastated. She had consulted with a plastic surgeon who gave her a completely different size than she had wanted, and Reed also had a procedure called body contouring done by the same surgeon, and she was unhappy with those results as well. Reed went under the procedure again one more time to get the previously botched jobs corrected. She says she saw a therapist for about a year to get help with her confidence issues and has settled down since her paradise days. And on top of that, she's also steered clear from too many more surgeries, urging anyone who is going under to do some research first and, you know, check those sources. Number two, Mickey Rourke. In the 1980s, Mickey Rourke began to find success as an actor. He was praised for his appearance. The Independent compared his youthful appearance to Marlon Brando or James Dean. So when the actor's appearance changed in the 90s, fans started asking questions. And as it turns out, the explanation for the transformation, it makes sense. 
Speaking on the topic of plastic surgery, Rourke told the Daily Mail in 2009 that most of his was to mend the mess of his face after boxing. Rourke had cartilage taken from his ear to help rebuild his nose, which was an operation that he called one of the most painful things he had ever gone through. His biggest regret comes from not doing enough research before booking the appointment. Seriously, this whole list could just be top 10 times he should have done research. He's quoted as saying he went to the wrong guy to get his face fixed. Well, he has claimed that he's only had one more surgery to attempt to fix things. He has since become a public advocate for only getting surgery if it's for health purposes, because sometimes you need a part of your arm grafted to your shin. People are wild! At number one, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman has admitted that she regretted using Botox to battle the signs of aging. The Australian actress confessed that she did indeed use the cosmetic injections, but said that it was an unfortunate step in her beauty regime, adding that she was glad to regain some of the movement in her face. She recounts getting Botox at one point and claiming that it had unfortunately left her face looking a little disfigured, ultimately opting out to get another jab. She claims to have hated the way she looked when she first received the Shots, very quickly realizing what a mistake she had made. She claims that her beauty comes from a natural place outside of that, saying in interviews that she is not one to advocate for plastic surgery. She claims to use sunscreen, not do any illegal substances, and she takes care of herself. Boring! Hey, if I had millions of dollars, I might drink a smoothie and hire a trainer too. But I don't. In at number 10, Sharon Osbourne. Sharon Osbourne has been very open about her use of cosmetic procedures over the years. She even revealed in a 2013 memoir that she was done with surgery altogether. But that went out the window in 2019 when she revealed that she got another facelift, making it her fourth ever. Sharon is no stranger to cosmetic procedures. In 1999, she lost over 100 pounds after she underwent gastric bypass surgery. She also spent $120,000 on a facelift, tummy tuck, eye lift, abdominoplasty, liposuction, and Botox as well. In 2007, Sharon admitted that at that time, she had spent roughly $530,000 on cosmetic procedures in total. She's openly said in the past, quote, there's not much I haven't tweaked, stretched, peeled, lasered, veneered, enhanced, or removed altogether. And of course, all her procedures have changed her appearance drastically. And at number 9, Julie Chen. Julie Chen is known as the host of the hit show Big Brother. She revealed to the talk in 2013 that in the start of her career, she decided to have eye surgery that would make her eyes appear larger. Apparently, when she was starting out, she wasn't able to get an agent because they said her Asian eyes did not look good on TV. This pushed her to get an eyelid surgery, which she does not regret. When speaking about the procedure, she said, quote, No one's more proud of being Chinese than I am. Every decision I've made, it got me to where I am today, and I'm not going to look back. And at number 8, Heidi Montag. The reality star went from girl next door to Hollywood Barbie after she got a number of plastic surgery procedures that made her unrecognizable. She even risked her life to have 10 procedures in one single day. Just some of the procedures that she underwent were a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs, and a butt augmentation. But after all her surgeries, she revealed that she regrets the decision, and she ended up having health problems because of all the stress to her body. She told Us Weekly in 2013, quote, I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It just sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you, like, okay, great, a little of this, a little of that. You're not told the recovery time and the mental strain it will put on you in the long term. And at number seven, Kylie Jenner. Anyone with eyes can see that Kylie Jenner has had a dramatic change in her appearance over the last few years, and it seems that she has underwent cosmetic procedures in an attempt to look more like her sister Kim. In 2016, after months of denying, she finally revealed that she received lip fillers. She even revealed to Alert that at one point she regretted her full lips. She told her sister Kim, quote, Well, I definitely made my lips a little too big at one point, adding, Thank God I didn't end up on botched. Kylie has not admitted to any other procedures, but it's widely speculated that she's gotten filler in her cheeks and chin, along with a Brazilian butt lift and breast implants. And at number six, Katie Price. British model Katie Price has been open about her many plastic surgery procedures that have changed her face considerably over the years, but she recently revealed that she regrets a lot of it, and at one point she felt like a monster. Katie has told media outlets that she received a full body liposuction, liposuction under her chin, and fat injected into her bum. Apparently after one round of procedures, she was told she needed a blood transfusion, but she was too scared of getting COVID to get one. At one point she was regretting it all, asking herself, what the F have I done? Honestly, I've gone to hell and back, it was horrific. Oh my god, I look like a monster out of a horror movie. She also revealed that she lost count of how many boob jobs that she's had over the years, saying it's around 12. 
Katie says she was all natural until she turned 30. Now she has almost everything done. Halfway at number five, Nikki Cox. Actress Nikki Cox was one of the hottest stars in TV in the late 1990s and early 2000s, but her career faded after some botched cosmetic procedures. The biggest difference seems to be her large lips and tight face. Some paparazzi photos of her were leaked in 2013, showing her looking much different than the woman that we had seen on screen, and many outlets called her botched and unrecognizable. One plastic surgeon gave his opinion on her look. He speculated that she didn't go under the knife, but claimed her shocking look is due to botched filler. And at number four, Donatella Versace. Donatella got her fame through running high end fashion brand Versace with her late brother Gianni. And in the decades since she's been a public figure, her face has changed considerably. Most would say for the worse. Over time, she's become unrecognizable with her nose and lips changing the most. It's gotten so bad that Donatella has landed herself on pretty much every worst plastic surgery list that there is. Donatella has only admitted to getting Botox, nothing more, so she hasn't admitted to regretting any of her procedures. When asked about her different look, she said, quote, I'm not like this genetically. I use tons of cream and take care of my hair and skin. In at number three, Ronnie Ortiz Magro. Back in the day, the men of Jersey Shore were known for their chiseled abs and tan skin. But as time has gone on, the men have not been able to keep up with their strict diet and workout regimen, and they've lost the six packs that they were known for. In 2019, Ronnie revealed he underwent liposuction to enhance his six pack after welcoming his daughter Ariana the year before. While he was on the show called The Doctors, he said, quote, A year ago to the day, my life completely changed. I had a little baby girl. She's like my guardian angel. And now I can't spend two or three hours in the gym every day every day like I used to. The procedure was a laser high definition liposuction of the abdomen, which defined the area around his six pack. And at number two, Dolores Catania. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star went through multiple plastic surgeries since she became a star. She admitted to getting tummy tuck surgery, breast augmentation, facelift, liposuction, and a Brazilian butt lift. She revealed it actually put a strain on her relationship because her boyfriend did not support it at first. On the Getting Real with the Housewives podcast, she said, quote, He was really angry. He was so mad at me, and he didn't let up on it. I let him be mad for a little while, and then I had to say, listen, you either live with it or we just have to move on. And finally, at number one, Larissa Dos Santos Lima. The 90 Day Fiance star revealed an entirely new look in September of 2020 after she allegedly spent $72,000 on cosmetic enhancements. These procedures included a nose job, liposuction, and breast and butt augmentation. She spoke about the procedures on an episode of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, where she said, quote, I lose weight, I did butt to make it bigger, I did Botox, I did my nose, I did my lips, I did my cheekbones, I did my chin. I am a new woman and I feel very happy. With all the cosmetic enhancements, she looks unrecognizable from how she looked before the show. And at number 10, Paul Stanley. The Kiss frontman looks very different now than when the band was in its height, and people think the change is due to cosmetic procedures. It's rumored that he had a nose job, facelift, along with other fillers and Botox. Some evidence also suggests he may have underwent an eyebrow lift and a lip job. Stanley has only admitted to one procedure, and that was an ear reconstructive surgery. He got this because he was born with a condition, microtia, which caused him to not have a right ear. While speaking with SiriusXM's Jim and Sam video interviews, Stanley also admitted to having his rotator cuffs repaired, along with the hip replacement and cartilage repaired in his knees, but nothing related to his appearance. And at number 9, Michaela Romanini. For many years, she was one of Italy's biggest stars and was titled one of the most beautiful women in the country. But after getting many cosmetic procedures, she was left looking completely unrecognizable from her former self. We're not sure exactly what procedures that she's gotten, but but it's clear her lips, eyes, and skin look drastically different. Some media outlets even say she looks like an alien. But even with all the criticism around her looks, she apparently does not regret any of her procedures. Some reports even claim she is now addicted to surgery, specifically lip collagen injections. And at number 8, Kenny Rogers. The late Kenny Rogers decided to undergo cosmetic surgery, and it changed his appearance so drastically that it really hurt his confidence. He told CBS host Gail King in 2012, quote, I was trying to hide myself. I had the money to do it, and I had time off. It was one of those things that I think everybody's like, you look at yourself and you go, could I be better if I did this or I did that? Adding that he regrets doing anything, and he's always very curious as to what he would have looked like without it. 
He also said that the changes in his appearance did not affect his music or singing voice, but rather his confidence to get on stage and make music. He even cancelled some shows during his 2018 farewell tour because he was battling health challenges, which some speculated was due to the surgeries. His worst procedure was a botched eyelid lift. He said about the procedure in 2006, quote, I'm not happy about it. It drives me crazy. And at number 7, Joan Rivers. The late Joan Rivers is a comedy legend, and she's been very open about the countless cosmetic procedures she underwent through the years. Just some of the procedures that she's admitted to include a facelift, neck lift, and eyelid surgery. However, she passed away at the age of 81 due to complications with a cosmetic procedure. Her daughter Melissa spoke about the tragedy in a memoir that she wrote about her mother called The Book of Joan, Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. In the book, Melissa states that Joan received 348 cosmetic procedures over her lifetime because she was always insecure about her looks. Melissa also appeared on the Today Show and spoke about her mother's tragic death following complications during a throat surgery saying, quote, In my opinion, it was 100% preventable. Melissa actually filed a lawsuit against the clinic, saying they were not prepared and very unprofessional. And at number 6, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley has no signs of aging on her face, even though she is 76 years old. But she does look completely unrecognizable from her former self. Some say this is due to botched procedures over the years. A few years back, she revealed that low-grade silicone was injected into her face, the type that mechanics use to grease car parts. This was done by fraudulent doctor, Dr. Daniel Serrano, who was later sent to prison for his illegal tactics. A rep for Priscilla said, quote, Priscilla Presley was one of many documented victims of Dr. Serrano. An investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Ms. Presley dealt with this matter years ago and everything is now well. However, one doctor does not think the botched injections explain her puffy, waxy face, and he insisted that this is due to repeated laser treatments and Botox. One commenter wrote about her look, quote, What has Priscilla Presley done to her face? It looks like she has a scary mask on. Halfway number 5, Jackie Stallone. The late mother of A-list actor Sylvester Stallone revealed that she had many plastic surgery regrets in a 2013 interview. When asked if she had had work done, she said, quote, I do and actually I've gotten too much. I look like I've got a mouthful of nuts. It's Juvederm, too much of it. I feel as though I look like a chipmunk. She continued, Juvederm plumps you up here, pointing at her cheeks, but it looks like you have a mouthful of walnuts. She then explained that she's had about three chemical peels and about 50 injections over her lifetime. She revealed that she had never tried Botox because naturally she did not have wrinkles in her forehead. Jackie claims that she believes in plastic surgery, but thinks that Beverly Hills doctors are overrated hacks, saying that she went to other states to have work done because she doesn't trust Beverly Hills surgery. And at number 4, Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell shocked fans when he appeared at the red carpet for the America's Got Talent quarterfinals, looking totally unrecognizable. His face was discussed at length in the media, and on the Absolute Radio Breakfast show, Dave Barry said, quote, I remember Simon Cowell when he had his first face. I've known him a long time. The current one is a bit slipknot. It's actually quite terrifying. With the host noting that his surgery was probably done in the dark if it came out that badly, and that a man with his money should have gotten the best surgeon in the world. After stepping out, Dr. Nyla Raja, a leading cosmetic doctor, said that he had gone a bit overboard with the Botox, adding, quote, adding, quote, I suspect Simon's fallen complexion is a combination of weight loss and also too much Botox. And at number three, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is the sister that gets the most flack for her cosmetic enhancements because it seems like she looks different every week. While speaking about rumors about her plastic surgery, she told host Andy Cohen that she's had one nose job, along with fillers, but not Botox. Years earlier on her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, she also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved, saying, quote, My face was so messed up I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again, and I'm almost like, I swear things are still in my face. Although people don't believe she hasn't touched fillers, because her face has changed dramatically since then. And at number 2, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is known for her signature pout that she achieved through the help of fillers. But she's gotten some other procedures that she's regretted. Apparently after she tried Botox, she was totally botched. Lisa said that she got Botox in her cheeks because all of her friends were getting it done and she wanted to try it out for herself. But after the procedure was done, Lisa said, quote, I saw a photo and I was like, oh Jesus, that's not good, that is not good. But after that experience, she's learned that less is more, saying that she still likes Botox but won't do anything that changes the shape of her face. And finally at number 1, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is my queen and I love her so much, 
but it's clear to her fans that she's changed a lot over the years, and she's been vocal that the changes are due to cosmetic enhancements. She told CBS Sunday Morning in 2019, quote, It's true that I look artificial, but I believe that I'm totally real. My look is really based on a country girl's idea of glam. I wasn't naturally pretty, so I make the most of anything I've got. Dolly's admitted to many procedures, including a facelift, eye surgery, breast implants, liposuction, excess skin removal, lip injections, Botox, and more. Dolly also looks phenomenal at her age of 75 and says that she will look as young as her plastic surgeons allow. In at number 10, Dory Kemsley. Dory Kemsley has starred on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since season 7, and her face has changed considerably since she's been in the spotlight. If you look even further back, Dorit looks unrecognizable from her younger self, leading many to believe she's had lots of cosmetic enhancements. Dorit addressed these rumors in a recent Instagram AMA. When asked if she'd ever had plastic surgery, she responded, quote, The only plastic surgery that I've had done is my boobs. It drives me crazy when people say I've had plastic surgery on my face. I've done filler and Botox, and I work with masterful makeup artists who can transform your face. She has also addressed this topic in multiple reunions for the show. In last year's reunion, she said she thinks it's comical when people claim that that she's had a facelift or a bunch of surgeries. She also revealed in this year's reunion that she's never had a nose job. But honestly, a lot of fans do not believe her. And at number nine, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox was at the center of plastic surgery rumors when she all of a sudden looked unrecognizable from her former self. Courtney addressed the rumors and revealed that she did not have plastic surgery, but she did get fillers and Botox every now and then, which led to layers and layers of changes that she just didn't like. Cox told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. And at number eight, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson has been deemed the world's first supermodel, starting her career very early, then transitioning into reality TV and publishing. But as she got older, her looks changed in ways that she didn't like, and she started to get procedures to stay younger. She admitted that she got her first cosmetic procedure at the age of 33. In an interview with ABC News, Janice revealed all her procedures. Quote, brow lift, yes, I've had my brow lifted. She said I was getting a bit of sag coming down my face, so I lifted them up. Yes, Yes, I've had collagen put in, injections, it's for the fine lines on the face. Because of all her cosmetic work, she looks unrecognizable from who we knew in her modeling days. In at number 7, Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith says she didn't realize how much she had changed from her cosmetic enhancements until she heard what fans were saying about her appearance. She said, quote, I didn't realize until people started saying, oh my god, what has she done? I was so hurt I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of the shit this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. Melanie also spoke about how her many divorces and substance abuse affected not only her life but her appearance as well. But following her split from Antonio Banderas, she says she's in a healthy place and is hanging out with her girlfriends. And at number 6, Tara Reid. Tara Reid underwent multiple plastic surgeries after she started a few hit movies, including American Pie and the Pussycat Dolls. In 2004, after many of the surgeries were botched, she was forced to undergo corrective surgeries in 2007. She told Us Weekly, quote, I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. After the botched surgery, she was unable to land the same high caliber projects that she had once before, and she was only considered for spoof movies like Sharknado. She told People in 2008, quote, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. Now she's terrified of ever getting surgery or cosmetic enhancements again. Halfway number five, Reed Ewig. While Modern Family actor Reed Ewig was suffering from body dysmorphia, he underwent several cosmetic procedures, all of which he regrets. He told the Huffington Post that after all the swelling from the surgeries went down, the results were not all what he expected. Adding, quote, I vowed I would never get cosmetic surgery again, even though I was still deeply insecure about my looks. It took me about six months before I was comfortable with people even looking at me. I wish I could go back and undo all the surgeries. While he was recovering, he decided to take some time away from acting. And at number four, Jennifer Grey. The legendary Dirty Dancing star was known for her unique nose that really made her stand out from the crowd. However, in 1989, after she became a huge star, she decided to get a nose job and made her nose look like every other big star. And sadly, her career shrank alongside her small nose. The nose job was pretty minor, but because her nose was so distinct before, it made her completely unrecognizable. She said about the regrettable procedure, quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. And because nobody recognized her, she didn't have the star power the movies were looking for and she stopped landing roles as a result. And at number 3, Rumor Willis. 
After rumors stepped out looking very different from her usual self, fans speculated that she went under the knife. It was rumored that she received a nose job, reduced her chin, and had lip injections. It's not a stretch to assume that she's had work done, as rumors admitted she supports plastic surgery and would be open if she went that route. She said, quote, In Hollywood, I feel like there's a big stigma about hiding things, but people aren't stupid. If all of a sudden you jump from being an A cup to like double D's, people know. I just think you have to be who you are and own it, and not be ashamed to feel like you have to apologize. Rumors also opened up about feeling pressure from social media to change her looks because people are more vocal behind a computer screen. And at number two, Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne was first known to the world as a Disney star on the show Shake It Up. But as she grew older, she changed more than what was possible naturally. Bella has been accused of having a nose job, boob job, and getting lip filler. It's speculated that she had her first lip injection when she was just 16 and had a rhinoplasty the following year. As for breast implants, one source claims she went from a 34A to a 34DD. Bella has not commented directly on these surgery accusations, but from the changes, it's assumed that she is not au naturel. And finally, number one, Charlotte Crosby. The Geordie Shore star has been getting surgery ever since she got on TV and has changed drastically. It's at the point where some fans are worried she actually has a surgery addiction. Charlotte openly admitted that she'd had a nose job back in 2016. She also admits to getting lip filler once a year and getting a boob job to correct a medical condition she was born with that gave her a quote uniboob. The first cosmetic enhancement she received was a tattoo on her eyebrow so she wouldn't need to fill them in. At first, Charlotte hid her rhinoplasty from fans, but weeks later, she posted a YouTube vlog about the entire process. After she posted photos from a holiday she took to Brazil, the comments accused her of getting more work done. One comment said, She should have stopped with the surgery, Botox, and fillers a long time ago. Another person wrote, Poor girl, her face is badly swollen. Is it an allergy? At number 10, Carrot Top. American comedian Carrot Top is pretty well known for his signature looks. With his bright orange hair and crazy expressions, no one can mistake him, that's for sure. However, over the years, there's been speculation that the comedian has undergone a few cosmetic surgeries that have him looking a little different. Some saying that he's actually been botched, but the overall consensus is that he looks pretty unrecognizable. Though he's denied ever having received plastic surgery and mostly credits his looks to his gym habits, there are others out there who think that that there's something a little artificial that the comedian has been hiding from his fans because though his body is different from working out, his face has been altered as well. It is believed that the comedian has received an eyebrow lift, Botox injections, lip filler, and laser peels, which many people see as the reasons his freckles are less evident. Because of the fillers and lifts, a lot of people think his face has been left looking a little too stiff and a little too fake. In at number 9, Lara Flynn Boyle. Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice. But in the early 2000s, her look started changing drastically, specifically her lips. Over time, her face started to look very unnatural, and nobody wanted to cast her anymore. Boyle commented before her procedures that she was scared of aging, as she knew she would lose work. But her botched procedures are what have actually blacklisted her from the industry. In 2010, Paul S. Nassif told the Daily Mail, quote, Lara Flynn Boyle appears to have had a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, Botox, facial fillers, and possibly a brow lift and facelift. Also saying she should refrain from any more procedures. Another plastic surgeon agreed, telling the outlet that she had gone overboard with the filler for her cheeks and lips. At number 8, Jocelyn Wildenstein. When you look up the most drastic celebrity appearances, a photo of Jocelyn Wildenstein will no doubt appear in your search. Her looks are a prime example of someone taking plastic surgery too far and looking nothing like they did before. Though she was a model back in the day, too much plastic surgery has altered her appearance forever, to the point where she's mostly plastic, mostly botched, and looks like a completely different person. Jocelyn apparently started changing her appearance to make her husband happy and she even modeled her look after big cats because her late husband was a big cat lover. She reportedly kept a lynx as a pet and she said that she thought that the big cat's eyes were so perfect she wanted to look just like it. Unfortunately, she went too far with her look. Over the years, she's gotten surgery on her eyes to make them look more cat-like, as well as receiving brow and facelifts, injections, implants, and more. She's loved looking nothing like how she did before all of the surgery, with her entire face being remade into something completely new and unnatural. Even though her appearance is quite drastic, Jocelyn has said that she's not done altering her looks. And at number 7, Courtney Love. Courtney Love has admitted to having three major procedures to change her looks. 
but unfortunately she hasn't been happy with any of them. The first procedure was a liposuction on her butt. She claimed that it actually ruined her figure and she discouraged anyone else from getting it done. She also had a mouth enhancement which she wasn't happy with either. She said after the procedure quote, I just want the mouth that God gave me back. It was perfectly cute and I had nice big lips. The last procedure she has admitted to was a nose job, although after the original procedure she ended up getting it corrected because she didn't like it, even calling it a quote little beak at one point. All this aside, Courtney looks very beautiful now, although it's clear she looks vastly different than her natural self. At number 6, Dana Delaney. Getting Botox is a pretty common thing these days. Getting injectables seems to be the newest trend, probably because it's one of the least invasive plastic surgery procedures that you can receive. But just because it's not considered a major procedure, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's no risk, and Desperate Housewives actress Dana Delaney can tell you all about it. Dana opened up about one of the worst procedures that she's received that completely changed her face. In 2003, Dana decided to go in and receive some Botox injections after her dermatologist convinced her to try it out, and when she went in for the procedure, things went horribly wrong when the doctor performing the procedure injected the needle into the wrong place in her forehead and actually caused quite a bit of damage. When he injected the syringe into her forehead, the needle ended up striking a nerve. This then created a huge hematoma, and it actually ended up killing the nerve that was struck. Unfortunately for Dana, this mistake was pretty serious because it ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused her eye to begin to droop down slightly. Dana spoke out about the experience saying, quote, I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. End quote. This made her look pretty unrecognizable since it literally changed the symmetry of her face. Halfway number 5, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid was voted the most beautiful person in the world at one point, but it's hard to believe she's all natural. Bella never talks about the work she's had done, but from before and after pictures, it's clear that she's had a lot of enhancements. During a 2018 interview, she responded to comments about her plastic surgery, saying, quote, People think I got all this surgery or did this or that, and you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers into my lips. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. But with the before and afters that we have, it's hard to claim that it's all puberty. The most common surgeries that have been rumored are a nose job, cat eye, eyebrow lift, and either fillers or surgery to sharpen her face. At number 4, Priscilla Presley. This is by far the worst plastic surgery story out there because not only did Priscilla end up botched, but she also drastically changed her looks. Priscilla Presley, the wife of the late Elvis Presley, suffered through a plastic surgery nightmare when she went in to receive injectables from a very unreliable source. Priscilla had begun dabbling in plastic surgery, undergoing a few procedures such as injections and facelifts, but when she fell victim to an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon, that's when things got really, really bad. This unlicensed professional gave Priscilla injections in her cheeks and used products and techniques that were unapproved. To make matters worse, it turned out that the silicone that this so-called doctor used on Priscilla was not medical grade and was instead a substance similar to that which mechanics use for car parts. Thankfully, Priscilla got justice against this doctor, and the individual who performed these procedures got jail time, but sadly, Priscilla, as well as a handful of other people, were left as botched victims of this mad doctor, and Priscilla's looks were never the same. In at number 3, LaToya Jackson. LaToya Jackson has had major plastic surgery over the years, it's to a point that her past self is completely unrecognizable. The most noticeable procedure LaToya has had is a nose job. It was reported in 2017 that she was allegedly one nose job away from completely losing her nose. Experts say that the outer flare of her nostrils have been overly narrowed to a point of near disappearance. Another doctor even claimed that every surgery that LaToya gets in the future carries the risk of her face collapsing due to all the damage from past procedures. Her skin tone is also much lighter than before, and it's rumored that she has bleached her skin. At number 2, Mickey Rourke. For a long time, people have made some pretty harsh comments about Mickey Rourke's face. In his early career, he was praised for having a baby face and boyish charm, but now, not so much. A lot of people believe that he doesn't look anything like he used to, and a lot of that has to do with his botched plastic surgery. Mickey has spoken out about his altered appearance, saying that boxing is really what caused things to go downhill for him. Because he went in for reconstructive surgery from things that had been damaged through boxing, his face has never been the same. Speaking further on this, Mickey said, quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had my nose broken twice, I had five operations on my nose, and one on a smashed cheekbone. 
end quote. If Mickey had gone to someone else for these procedures, maybe things would have been different. And finally, number one, Cardi B. Cardi B started out as a reality TV star and turned into a Grammy winning rapper. Since she's been in the spotlight for so long, it's clear she's gone under the knife to change how she looks. She's not hiding it either. Cardi often talks about her surgeries. She was even forced to put some of her concerts on hold to recover from plastic surgery. She had complications from liposuction and was still in the process of recovering from breast implants, so her feet started to swell uncontrollably, making her unable to perform. When critics called her lazy for getting the lipo, she said she doesn't have time to work out. Cardi has also gotten implants in her butt to give her an hourglass figure. And it's speculated that she's gotten some Botox and filler as well. Coming in number 10, we have Leah Michelle. Back in December, Leah Michelle started to go trending on Twitter after the internet started to troll her for her new chiseled facial appearance. When the funny girl actress posted a selfie comparing herself to Lucia, the beautiful working girl on the White Lotus, the internet was then quick to notice her resemblance to another trending character, which is a girl who has undergone buckle fat removal. The cosmetic procedure involves surgically removing fat between the cheekbones in the jaw bones via incisions inside the mouth to highlight one's facial bone structure. While people have been doing the surgery for decades, it's currently all the rage with young celebrities and people on TikTok. It takes a normal looking girl and makes them look almost skeletal, which is pretty damaging to a younger person's image. While the surgery isn't everybody's cup of tea, I still don't understand why Hollywood girlies aren't trying to get rid of it and why they keep opting to do it. And it kind of made Leah Michelle look more scary than in her Rachel Berry days on Glee. Number nine, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian has been pretty open about her physical transformation. And unlike her other sisters, she claimed that she has undergone plastic surgery more than once in her life. While the reality TV star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to undergo the night. In a reunion episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Khloe revealed that she opted for a few cosmetic alterations by saying, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had a third face transplant, but I've had one nose job. Aside from her nose job, the Good American founder has also revealed she has done injections, but not really Botox because she responded horribly Botox. Chloe, like Kylie, has also gotten so much filler done at one point. She even went back three times to get it dissolved, but it still feels like the effects are still there. But for a while, the star did look a little scary with all that filler. Hey, my little peach. Are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number eight, we have Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley was a legendary beauty, but when she underwent plastic surgery in the past, it left her with some unfortunate side effects. It would force her to come out and claim that she unknowingly had industrial low grade silicone injected into her face by a doctor who wasn't even licensed to practice medicine in the United States. Priscilla was one of many victims who fell into the hands of Dr. Daniel Sarah Noez in 2008, a rep of the actress would share that an investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Miss Presley dealt with this matter years ago and eventually everything is now well. Serrano, who was not licensed to practice medicine, would find himself being deported back to Argentina after serving 18 months in federal prison. After some of his injections caused lumps, paralysis, and holes in his client's face. But the work he did to Priscilla definitely had her wishing that she never underwent the surgery, and she never even tried to have a repair it as she was kind of scared it would do more harm than good. Number seven, Janice Dickinson. It's clear that Hollywood's obsession with plastic surgery is starting to get really scary. Scary. And if you look what happened to Janice Dickinson after she made an attempt to keep her youthful appearance, people would even start to confuse her with Caitlyn Jenner. After she had a botched procedure done, even according to celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Anthony Yoon, Janice had every plastic surgery procedure there is. And that's not really hard to believe as once the stunning model now looks like she is pure plastic. And I've seen her undergo some treatments on reality TV. 
Dr. Yoon would then jokingly add, I believe she's undergone pretty much every facial plastic surgery there is, including a facelift, eye lift, lip injections, Botox, fat injections, a brow lift, and she's probably singly handedly paid for her plastic surgeon's house. Despite Janice going under the knife numerous times, Yoon said, while Janice doesn't look a whole lot like herself, she's holding up pretty well and she's had quite a bit of help. In 2014, Janice would even admit when she was 32 or in the Jurassic era, that's when she had her first procedure done and it included work to her chest, a tummy tuck, facelift, and Botox. At number six, we have Linda Evangelista. The OG supermodel hasn't been seen in public for a while now and in September 23rd, 2021, she would explain why. Linda revealed that she underwent cool sculpting, which she claims left her looking unrecognizable as it allegedly caused her fat cells in her face to multiply. And she would say, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured by a procedure which did the opposite of what it promised. She then went on to talk about the procedure's rare but serious side effects. And she said, not only did it destroy my livelihood, but it sent me into a cycle of depression, profound sadness, and lowest depths of self-loathing. In the process, I have become reclusive and I'm so tired of living this way. I would like to walk out my door with my head held high despite not looking like myself any longer. However, if you look at photos from Linda from 2005 to now, for her procedure disfigured her famous face, the girl was stunning. And if you were looking to get plastic surgery done in the future, let this be a warning and just a reminder that you're beautiful just the way you look. Number five, Mickey Rourke. Since the beginning of his career, Mickey Rourke has captured the news headlines every now and then, and one of the most talked about things about him is his face. Today, everyone knows Mickey to be an actor of repute who has starred in many successful movies over the years, but it is essential to understand that acting was not Mickey's first love, as he's a man who was in love with boxing and he eventually became a professional boxer. And he did pretty well because he was unbeaten in all his fights as he won and drew others. However, he endured a lot of injuries to his face and some of these injuries were so severe that they threatened to ruin his good looks, so he opted to have cosmetic surgery to fix his face. However, the doctors he met to help him fix his face just ended up ruining it. His face today is now very different from what his fans had known it to be, and anytime he steps into the public, paparazzi just swarms his face. While the star has undergone different cosmetic surgeries to correct his face, it just keeps changing and it keeps renewing the public's interest. Number four, Joan Rivers, comedian. Joan Rivers was famous for constantly changing her face. When the reality TV star passed away at the age of 81, her daughter Melissa would write a memoir, The Book of Joan, Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. As a tribute to her mother, in it, Melissa would reveal that Joan had a staggering 348 cosmetic operations over her life and she was never happy with the way she looked, which fed into her sense of being less than. Joan Rivers' tragic passing was caused after she had complications following her surgery after the comedian never recovered from a loss of oxygen to her brain during surgery. Her daughter would then be able to sue the clinic for malpractice. It would be noted that Joan went into the hospital after she scheduled an EGD. However, reports then showed another procedure, a nasolaryngoscopy, which was performed twice by an ENT doctor not privileged to perform that procedure at Yorkville. And Rivers was never informed or consented to that procedure. Number three, Donatella Versace. Versace. Donatella Versace's designs for Versace may have sparked thousands of copycats, but there is no danger of a woman following suit when it comes to Donatella Versace's new look. 30 years ago, the fashion guru had naturally full lips and smooth skin, but today her face is striking for all the wrong reasons as she has now turned herself into a real life human waxworth doll after she overdid Botox and added too much filler to her cheeks and lips. Not to mention the businesswoman has also had a facelift and eyes and brow lift. And if you look at her face, you can tell that her eyelids are like a little droopy because she had some bad Botox and that's why they look droopy. It's also been said that she looks like she may have had some filler added to her earlobes as they looked very stretched. Dr. David Rappaport has also provided a timeline of Donatella's alleged procedures where he would point out that it seems clear that the designer has had a facelift as she has a scar that you can see on her temple area. And she has a fine linear scar from it. He would also note that her hairline has been lifted too high and it shouldn't end that high above her ears. But
but this could also indicate that she's gone under the knife for more than one procedure. Number two, Carrot Top. Comedian King of Props, Scott Carrot Top Thompson has had to deal with a lot of plastic surgery rumors and before and after surgery photos, but despite the hundreds of sources saying he underwent the knife to change his looks, the comedian says he hasn't had work done on him. But it's clearly just a lie. So Carrot Top is one of these most successful comedians from the late 90s and 2000s. Aside from comedy, one of the most talked about topics whenever Carrot Top is brought up is about his looks, and people start to debate whether the star has had plastic surgery done or not. Although various sources have tried exploring his transformation, to put an answer to the question, the comedian still continues to deny all the rumors that revolve around him undergoing the knife to change his looks. And to this day, the comedian still has to deal with plastic surgery rumors as the media has been swamped with before and after photos of the star. Many have even compared his transformation to plastic surgery disasters and some professionals have even commented on it, such as Dr. Anthony Yoon, who pointed out that the comedian has definitely had laser treatments or chemical peels, and he even commented on Carrot Top's appearance by saying, He looks more like a muscle bound cartoon character. Number one, Little Kim. Little Kim is undoubtedly one of the brightest, most influential women in hip hop, yet her legacy remains controversial for one reason or the other. Seems like the star is constantly being thrown in front of the media since the beginning of her career for her ever changing face. In 2005, Kim would even go on a radio show to explain that she had broken her nose after getting into an altercation with her ex-boyfriend and she had to get surgery done to fix her nose and then she would go back to her boyfriend get hurt again and it would reel her into a tangle of insecurities and self-loathing. Kim was so tired of lying about her injuries and burying her bruises in makeup that she thought it would be better to get professional work done and wipe those physical markings away once and for all. And then after, she would get more surgeries done by her own choice as she was facing insecurities after her boyfriends kept cheating on her with European women with long hair. Coming in at number 10, we have Tom Felton. Tom Felton is an award winning actor that is known best for his role in Harry Potter. While Tom has made some dramatic changes since he was everyone's favorite sneaky Slytherin student, while the star started off as a heartthrob child that stole our hearts with his beautiful blue eyes and white blonde hair, by 2018, when he made an appearance on Good Morning Britain to promote his YouTube series, Origin, he would look nothing like the clean, cut child star that once taunted Harry Potter while portraying his Slytherin nemesis. While the star has been sporting long hair tied in a man bun and glasses, a lot of Harry Potter fans would come for Tom and say that he definitely didn't grow up to be the heartthrob we all thought he would be. However, coming into 2023, Tom will once again be unrecognizable, as lately the actor has been looking pretty spicy again. While Tom has definitely struggled to stay on top of the industry since starring in Harry Potter, in 2022 he had the chance to play a bad guy once more, and this time it was for the notorious criminal Guy Fox. He looked completely unrecognizable in the theater show, and as we watched Tom grow over the last couple of years, he's definitely become the heartthrob we all thought he would be, and you can't deny that. Coming in at number nine, Khloe Kardashian. So Khloe Kardashian has recently been receiving backlash for her ever changing look as fans believe that she lost too much weight and they also think she's gone way too overboard with cosmetic procedures. While the star has been stunning rocking a sporty long blonde wavy hair, it has us all wondering if it's Chloe or has she been replaced by a double. While Chloe has stated that she lost all her weight following a low carb diet that her nutritionist gave her, the plan has caused her to lose over 60 pounds. And while many people believe Chloe looks fabulous with her new look, as she does, many fans are also concerned that she's getting too skinny. After she shared a workout mirror selfie with one fan writing, her revenge body phases are always so hard as she goes too hard in my eyes to say, look what you're missing out, you idiot. When in reality, I I just want to see her happy with herself. It seems she works on herself in ways that make her life better. Other fans have said, nah, that's not Chloe. While Chloe has had plastic surgery in the past, she continues to lose a huge amount of weight, and by 2023, Chloe could look completely unrecognizable when it comes to the rest of her family. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Renee Zellweger. She was once America's sweetheart after she stole our hearts and made us realize all of our love lives weren't great with her adorable performance in Bridget Jones's diary. I mean, how could you not love her pouty lips 
bedroom eyes, and prominent cheeks. Renee was not only physically attractive, but she was also a very talented actress. In fact, she even won an Academy Award for her performance in Cold Mountain. While Renee has enjoyed a very prominent career in Hollywood with amazing supporting and lead roles in hit blockbusters, she's never really left the spotlight, but the lights have shined dimmer on her as time has gone by, and now we can't help but wonder, could it have anything to do with her looks? Today, Renee looks completely unrecognizable at Hollywood events, as her face now looks completely different, to the point it makes us wonder, is this really Renee, or is it somebody else? I guess none of us have seen Renee in a while, and when we suddenly saw an older version of the person we used to know, many were quick to claim that the changes were from plastic surgery, but others just simply acknowledged that the star has aged, and we just didn't notice. Number 7. Meg Ryan Before her plastic surgery, Meg Ryan was an American sweetheart that was known throughout the world for her roles in popular movies such as Sleepless in Seattle, Top Gun, You've Got Mail, and City of Angels. Entering in 2023, unfortunately, many people are still asking what happened to Meg Ryan, as Hollywood star has since become unrecognizable after undergoing terrible plastic surgeries. While Meg's life has been full of controversies, her most recent and enduring controversy has everything to do with her messy plastic surgery result, which has been responsible for her changing appearance over the past few years. While the Hollywood actress still tries to claim that she had no work done, she isn't fooling any of us. While doctors have also insisted that the star has had too much Botox done, on her face, the procedures include Botox and fillers, and it's resulted in the disaster we see today. While it's clear her appearance was surgically achieved, as she looked good before she had any work done, doctors have also pointed out that she had some sort of nose job done to the tip of her nose that looks a little pinched on top. It's also said that she had way too much Botox injected into her forehead, and she She's even added too much volume to her lips. Today, Meg Ryan has this unnatural look on her face caused by unusual full cheeks and small squinting eyes.